All righty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can I fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? I'm gonna find out my future. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up all right? Things gonna work out for him? It, it looks like a fish? Your Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Hey, bud, let me get a go at it. Oh, yeah? Think you got the stuff? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. <laughs> yeah. Looks like I'm the karate master now. Wouldn't you know it? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back.
in the brig and keep in there. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell's going on up there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here.
What was that? God damn, another stiff? Oh, damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. strange feeling right now. Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? <laughs> you look like a mess on wheels, Chuck. I ain't the only one. Great. Good company. Let's just get up on deck. Yeah. Fine. Agreed. Yeah. Hey, Chuck? You see that kid over there? Uh... No? You feeling all right? God, no. Charlie!
Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello, can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Won't you spare me over till another Hello, and welcome to my repository. I am the curator, the curator of stories, stories of love and hate, greed and beauty, life and death, stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written, and the choices you make will complete it and determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. 
I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible futures. If you can find them and study them, they may just help you to make better decisions. Or should I say, decisions that result in the outcomes you would prefer. That's all for the moment. We'll talk again soon enough. We'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Think we got enough? If we run out, we can always call for backup. So, uh, look. I've never been down there before. Down? The water. Diving. Or maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh, yeah? I mean, are you serious you came out here without taking any lessons? Uh, kind of, yeah. I wanted to. I just didn't... I didn't have time, you know, I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is like super expensive. Look, bro, be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man, it's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Dude. You know I'm not, like, the best around new people, or whatever. Just shut up. Brad, you're not on this trip because you're my bro. I mean, you are my brother, but, I mean, like, we're buddies, you know? Um, kinda. We're just out here to fucking hang, cool out, and kick it. What the fuck are you talking about? Let's just kick it and be legends, man. <laughs> All right, amigo, Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy, I'm just... The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man, the long distance thing with Julia, it's been rough. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. Huh? <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah, I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey, so, uh, can I get your input on something? Yeah, what? Just, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? I don't know what's the right thing to do. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Hey! <clears throat> oh, <laughs> sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. This is Brad, by the way, my little bro. Hey. Bradley, I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. 
Want to crack a cold one with me? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone with minutes. Ah, uh, TBH? I kind of have a thing with, uh, seasickness? Brad. Bradley. Ray Brattleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Uh, fine. One. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's jib. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your cherry together. You're gonna be gentle. Uh... <laughs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Get it all out. Uh, yeah. You uh, want to go lie down? Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Yeah. Oh boy. See those hot pigs. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Brad did his homework. If he says the wreck's here, it's here. <sighs> okay, look, you're the client. I'm just saying we don't have unlimited daylight. I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, kid's a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh. Technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? I had to bring it up. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. And don't touch anything. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look.
Hey, hey. Hi, sweetie. Hey. Hey, back. Huh. What am I looking at here? What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Took more than that just to screw up the trip. Let's get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. Sure, Julia left anything on the mainland. This only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. Uh, yeah, sorry about before. Everybody's just a little... We've been planning this whole thing for a while now. I get it. But there are rules and laws and customs. These rules are all pretty basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Hey guys, tanks are ready. Tanks alive. Dived a couple wrecks over the years. Not an expert, but you know, experienced. If this is your first unreported wreck, then you should know there's a very specific protocol you have to follow. For all you know, this could be a war grave. Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Come on, you see anyone else out here? Who's gonna know? We logged our route at the harbor. If someone sees it's been disturbed, it ain't gonna be hard to put two and two together. Especially if some little souvenirs show up online. <laughs> you know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Okay. O2 check done. Whoa, 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 eager beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Looking good, Jay. I'd like to take you underwater. Hey, that's my sis you're talking about. You know it. Okay, you little clownfishes. 
gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Need let no further. You just don't You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. I know the weight is interminable, but soon, soon it'll just be you and me. Out of the All right, kids. Good to go. Just remember the rules, please. I got the bang stick. Yeah, I heard that about you. Ha ha. You ever have to use one? On a shark? Nope. so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh in your cabin, boy. Still a no. Your well-paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? It's a long story. It's complicated and it's really difficult to explain. Well, I'm a complicated guy. Try me. Well, it involves at least several trips to the bank and signing of big stacks of paper with large numbers on them. So you took out a loan? You know, you're smarter than you look. If you're interested. Maybe my family can make an investment in your business. That's very kind of you to offer. I suppose we could have that conversation. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. I keep these around. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. Are you close with your brother? <laughs> Known him my whole life. Julia's got Alex wrapped around her little finger. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later.
Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Hey there, how's it hanging? You look like you're taking full advantage of your relaxation time. I'm a man of many talents. So are you beached? Like a whale? Hey, I just thought, why spend all my time down in the dark when I already like what I see up top? I have to keep track of the dive, but I'd be happy to continue this conversation later when I can give you my full attention. In private? Private? Just, just chatting it up, you and I, in the old conversational intercourse. <laughs> well, hello there, Captain. Can I do something? What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? This feels off. Just be quiet and don't say anything stupid, okay? You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it?
Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. something stupid down here? That's it. One chance. You get that? Chill out. I'm fine, see? No problemo. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. He's holding something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! 
It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia, will you marry me? You're shitting me, right? What? <laughs> like there's a hidden camera down here or something? Uh... Okay, come on, guys! The gig is up! Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia, we gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait! We have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now! Go! Go! What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. What was up with that other boat? These fishing guys came by and ran into the dive line. Whatever, who cares, right? What I want to know is, What'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish, both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. 
And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Now you're speaking my language. I'm taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Of course I was gonna say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Never thought you were the settling type. Proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me. I'm sorry. Okay. Maybe. I don't know you. 
You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. Uh, happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. Key of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face and then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. It's horrible. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10 four, good buddy. And I'm out.
So, you okay? I think so. Is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Treat a lady right. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Jesus, Conrad. Seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Yeah, he's hiding. He's okay. All right. 
and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. These fuckers need to pay. We gotta take them down. They can try to fight back, but if we had the gun, they'd be forced to surrender. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I climb out the window, climb around the side, and hit them from there. We'll take them from the other side. Don't leave us here, okay? Okay, let's do it. What you doing, boy? Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me, also. Je te mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. Oh. 
which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, yeah, so. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here. We can handle a couple puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now.
everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? You're going it alone, independent, admirable, possibly foolish. We'll learn soon enough. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. is a floating death trap. Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck.
Move! What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Ah, oh, man! What was that? Watson, you're in port, you see. Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. fucking place dude even those meatheads seem spooked you think this ship is the Manchurian gold we are in the vicinity of those coordinates we can't just sit around we need a plan we're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves the second they let their guard down we got to take advantage of it and get off the ship Yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. We already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. They swiped our distributor cap. Gonna be difficult to get anywhere without it. So, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Now pretend you're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't, I don't know. It, the Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I... I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so... Yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. I wonder why this was ripped off. What do you think this ship was? So, when we told you this would be a quick little adventure... Was there something in this small print? Should we expect an itemized bill for all these... Uh... Great! Of all the places... Yeah. Kidnapping, 750 a year. Extra time, 350 an hour. Listening to your stupid bickering? I'll get back to you on that one. Real, real creepy. I am now.
jouer la salle des machines. Danny, tu fouilles les soutes. Les soutes T'es sérieux T'as vu l'endroit Ça tombe en ruine, Olson. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Fais ce que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Va te faire foutre. Quoi Qu'est-ce que t'as dit Rien. Trop du cul. Arrêtez, arrêtez ça. Ta gueule, Junior. Tu restes ici et tu surveilles les prisonniers. Prisonniers On est en prison Charmant. On sera bientôt riche si vous la fermez. Et si vous faites ce que je vous dis de faire Il y a quelque chose qui cloche ici. Je sais pas, cet... cet endroit est bizarre. Olson, on devait seulement les voler. Et là, on se retrouve coincé sur ce ratio de merde qui pue la mort. Et on a des prisonniers Ça va trop loin, tout ça. Vos gueules Fermez-la, tous les deux. Je suis votre capitaine, et je vous ordonne d'obéir à mes ordres. Just enjoying the perks of our all-inclusive cruise. I found a letter, by the way. Some guy was writing to his little lady back home about all the ghosts and crap on the ship. Ghosts? Uh, yeah. I mean, there aren't really ghosts here. Right? Let's hope we don't run across any ghosts. We got our hands full already. Okay. We got one guy complaining about another guy pretending to be sick so he could get out of guarding one of the holds. And I guess he was kind of a repeat offender. It sounds like nobody liked it very much down there. So, uh, I guess the moral of the story is stay the fuck away from the haunted cargo holds. Haunted? Maybe they just didn't like working there. Yeah, or maybe there are super ghosts. That's... what? Ghosts, but like 16-bit. Yeah, I don't know what you're saying. Super ghosts. Right. We just need to stay calm and focus on getting out of here. I just wish I knew what the fishermen were planning. Look, those meatballs are probably just looking for some get-rich-quick Manchurian gold. Which may not even exist. I mean, what if they don't find anything? Then we're fucked. So, what do we do? The way I see it, we got two options. We sneak out or we stay here and fight. Simple as that. Sneaking out is a better option, but I just don't know how we're gonna do it. Okay, well, we're not gonna do anything from in here. We need to keep looking around and try to find a way out. All right, yeah, catch you later. What happened here? scared.
take a look. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey, come here. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We don't know where a vent like this would go. Wherever it leads, it can't be worse than here. Want me to just smash through this wall? Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. This is gonna be loud. Yeah, okay. Conrad, you do it. Shit, but what are you guys doing out there? Pieces of eight and shiver me timbers, you one-legged fuck faces. Yeah, no, you. I'm gonna rip your pirate pants off your shoulders and stomp them into rainbow-colored stew. I'm warning you. I am an American citizen. You really want my president coming after you guys? Because he will. Each and every one of you, personally. Hey, can you hear me? I I'm talking to you. Hello? Yep. There's gotta be some stairs around here. The mystery of the smelling socks of punching briefs. I just want to know where the hell they all went. There should have been dozens of people on board. Hundreds. How could they all just vanish and leave all of their stuff behind? Something doesn't add up. Where's the you are here arrow? Spooky. 
I just can't believe this is happening. What the hell happened to Brad? You think he's still on the Duke? Your guess is as good as mine. What is this place? Engine room? Well, is there anything we can use down here? We're gonna need the distributor cap back before we're gonna get out of here. Hello? Engineer's log. We totally fucked. Oh, this is nice. I wonder where everyone went. Maybe everyone's hiding in the hold for a big surprise party. We gotta be careful. Could be a trap. We gotta take the chance.
goddammit, they're taking place! Shut the fuck up, man! Where are the others? Arrête de crier, j'essaie d'entendre ce qui se passe. Je crie pas! Ta gueule. Je veux savoir où sont les autres. this now. been here before, Alex. Have you been leading us in circles? Come on, guys. We gotta keep moving. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Hey, babe. Once we settle down, I will be your personal chef de cuisine. Yourself. Ugh. Hey, according to this, today is beef casserole. as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. With that, we shouldn't be screwing around right now. Nice blade. Could make a nice severance package for my assailants if you catch my drift. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. We gotta go through here. What was that?
This isn't right. <laughs> what? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? All right, well, we should keep moving. I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Rats. Probably just rats. That's all it was. Don't fucking laugh at me! Alright, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. What do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. Cool it, Jay. We don't have a lot of options. It's gotta be this way. Okay, no, this isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. We gotta get out of here too sweet. And we gotta find Fliss. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out then? What is this? human? What is the deal with this place? That is some bad mojo, dude. Okay, leave. Now! Leave, leave, leave! Hey, we got a name on this guy. And what are they even doing here? I don't think stuck on a ghost ship for all eternity sounds like a good plan, eh? Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Yes! Maybe that's little baby Dracula. Right there. And those are his parents, and they're lying in the dirt from their native country. And, and then they all jump on Conrad and eat off his face. <laughs> the end. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Well, that's one way to end a relationship. What's the matter? Shh. <gasps> what is it? Look! What? Seriously? Are you trying to freak me out? Huh? Can we just get out of here? Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. We gotta get Fliss. No time to lose. What the hell is making that sound? Uh, what sound? Whoa. Why so spick and span? Any medicine we find in here is gonna be old. Way out of date. Still might have some kick. Four years of med school and you prescribe me an 80-year-old aspirin to call me in the morning? That's not gonna make him sick, is it? This 
is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. You want to try to get it all right? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it. Why did you touch it? Where the hell is Conrad? Conrad? Maybe just get in some air. Conrad! What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. Okay, so... This guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, and then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope, nope. Connie? Conrad. He must have gone on ahead. Connie! Hey, Conrad! Where the hell did he go? Are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? <sighs> tell me where we are going, damn it! You don't even know what you're doing. You just do whatever he tells you, don't you? This fucking place is cursed. Look at this. What was that noise? What are you talking about? I don't want to hear anything from you. Olsen!
Please, you don't have to do this. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship, your ghost stays on the ship. Come on. You have no idea what you're talking about. Friends go. I don't know what the fuck this is all about, but we gotta keep moving and find Olsen. Now! Olsen? Merde! Qu'est-ce que tu fais? can't be a good sign.
Jesus. What happened down here? Fuck the 
Maybe they're through here. Alex? Julia? Hello? I'm not hearing this. 
Skeletons. Skeletons. Skeletons? Or is this some sort of altercation? You're not supposed to be out here. I'm not supposed to see this. on here. this. This place is not right. What is going on here?
Let's keep your head on straight. Weird.
Brad. <laughs> ah! Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? <laughs> Stop it! could have drowned. We gotta get away. He's still around. That, that guy. me with the whole pirate adventure thing and I gotta say it was a good idea no it was I mean it's funny I think it's funny but I think the guys you hired are taking it a little too far maybe and don't be cheap I mean you didn't feel like paying top dollar and that you get you get these guys that are not cream of the crop they're taking it a little too far you know you get my drift so if you want to feel free to pull the old plug get rid of these guys I'm with you I mean these guys are fucking crazy they're chasing us around the ship <sighs>
need something. It's, something is fucking you. It's not possible. Everybody, whatever this is, it's it's fucking with me, okay? It's fucking with me. Probably not much of a practice when you preach kind of guy. If anybody knew what the hell was going on in this place, it would have been the captain. I should really take a look behind this door, shouldn't I? Should. But should I? <laughs> yeah, I should. <clears throat> well, all right. So how do I pry this son of a bitch off? I have to at least enough for the door.
octopus. What are you doing up here? God damn, you scared the hell out of me. I, uh... Ooh, wow, that was intense. <laughs> That's one way to put it. You got a better way. What's up? Out of the way! Come on, we gotta get somewhere safe. Hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? How to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways? You will, I hope. Although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Let me help you out, give you a little hint. No hint? Perhaps you think you can piece things together from the clues you found yourself. Good luck with that. Perhaps you've started to realize something. That everything and everyone may not be quite what they appear to be. I hope that helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. What the hell is wrong with you back there? 
Brad, you lost your shit, like big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking? Come on, no, no, come on, that's ridiculous. Well, what the fuck is going on with this ship? Because I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some like, like evil, like literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? The stuff I saw, it's like there were these old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and- That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. I saw something. This, uh, uh, this old lady. I mean, she was batshit crazy, like dinosaur old. Not that that's a bad thing, but she just like up and vanished on me. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. You know that, right? No, I know, it's just... Let's time out, okay? This place is too fucked up to just be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, something is going on here. So what do we know for sure that we can all agree on? Am I crazy or are we on a ghost ship? Like, ghost ships are real and this is one and we're totally on it and oh, holy shit, we're so totally fucked? I was gonna say the same thing. I know we're not the first people to see weird shit here. Apparently the guards were super freaked out by something they saw in the cargo holds. We found a note that said a bunch of guys tried to get out of guard duty because they were really freaked out by something. What do you think actually happened to this place? A goddamn mystery box is what it is. It looked like the newspaper was from 1947. I found a logbook belonging to one of the crew. Sounds like the ship went through a real rager of a storm. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they all go? I can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So what's with the bodies? They come with the ship? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. We gotta get off this damn ship. No shit. I think we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. I know it sounds crazy, but maybe it was these guns that took down the plane from our dive. if they weren't Swiss cheesed. Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open.
Huh. Must have been moving some pretty dangerous cargo. Hey, a little help over here. I think this is our way up. Give me a lift. I'll pull you up. This is... This is where I chased comrades before. Huh. I, I thought it looked familiar. Over here! Gotta wait through here. Find a radio yet? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There, there has to be. I'm not exactly confident about our chances of survival. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Something's wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean? Yeah, that's gross. Looks like this poor sucker bit it right in the middle of his message. Hmm, sounds pretty desperate.
Take a look. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Look, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years, as long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. Ah, it's working! Military bandit. Let's ask him for help. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Over. Holy shit, we got him. Uh, if you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south. 151 degrees, 20 minutes west. Please, get here now. We need help. Please repeat. Please repeat. Over. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in. Yo, guys, check it out. This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I gotta be honest. I don't think I'm gonna make it down there in my shape. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? <laughs> what, are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. You're kind of mixing metaphors there. Not if the pitcher's a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. So what do you think? Hey, if you're sure you're up for it, I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, you're not always gonna be there to protect, big guy. I can handle this, trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. Yeah. It's you and I. <laughs> Bones? Everything still work? Everyone okay? We're okay. What are we gonna do? We're gonna have to find the generator. If we can get it started, we can power up the radio. Okay. We'll wait here by the radio. Here. Hey. Uh, 
After you. I'm guessing these are the lower levels of the ship. Sick bay. Some sort of altercation. Ten days in the brig. Wow. Must have really blown his lid to get that kind of time. been the son of somebody on board. Come check this out. Look, down there. Looks like the engine room. Good place to find the generator, right? The ladder's broken off here. I think I can just... Wait! <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, uh, all good. Just come down. It, 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 it was... It was... Didn't you see it? Um... Hello? Okay, so, I, so I'm seeing things, but you're not. Okay, so follow my thinking here. We know this ship was carrying the Manchurian gold, but that was really some sort of hallucinogenic bioweapon developed in China during World War II. And we know that it was super unstable and leaked all over the ship. So maybe it's still here? Maybe it hasn't dispersed after 70 years, and it's having the same effect on us, you know? Paranoid hallucinations. All this crazy shit we're seeing, none of it's real. The crew was hallucinating. We know they were scared of something, and the officers thought it was just a bunch of jumpy GIs trying to get out of guard duty. This isn't a ghost ship, it's a floating bioweapon. This couldn't have anything to do with the plane wreck we dived. Okay, so the plane was a search and rescue. They came out here because the people on this ship sent a distress signal, we know that. But I guess at that point, the fog had done its damage, and for whatever reason, they shot the plane down. I mean, who knows what the hell they were thinking, or thought they saw. Oh, God. All right, let's get going.
at this. The ship was actually anchored. I wonder why. right now dry clothes yeah switch and let's get back upstairs. Okay, let's get back upstairs. There's got to be another way up. <laughs> we lost power, but we have it back. Can you hear me? Over! Please state your situation. Over. We need help. Now! There are things on the ship that are trying to hurt us. Over! On work, damn it. Look at this. The rebreather. The fisherman must have bothered over from the Duke of Milan. You think it still works? Looks like it's got a little juice left. Maybe a couple of minutes? Should we bring it with us? I mean, it's heavy. It's just gonna slow us down. <sighs> yeah, fuck it. Dead weight. Hello? Je sais que t'es cette frère! De quoi tu parles, mon Dieu? Hein? Mais c'est moi qui vas tuer! Dis-moi seulement où est ce putain d'or! Tu as perdu la tête, ou quoi? No! Je t'en prie Non Je t'ai dit de la fermer, sale menteur Ferme ta gueule de merde Tu dis n'importe quoi Tout ce que tu racontes, c'est des conneries Alors, ferme ta sale gueule de merde Écoute. Écoute-moi. Non. Fais pas ça Je ah t'avais dit de fermer ta gueule
Wait. Yeah, totally. I mean, these doors were meant to withstand all sorts of stuff. Something back there. Uh, 
Maybe a mist or fog, maybe? I knew it. I told you. Did you breathe it in? No, look. We held our breath. We did not breathe any of that stuff. <laughs> oh, really? I know you're all fancy divers, but you expect me to buy that? We've been down here for hours. You've been holding your breath this whole time. You're holding your breath right now. Oh, God. It's in me. I got the mist in me the whole time. It's in me, isn't it? Uh, uh, I can feel it swirling around in there. It's changing me. On the inside. No, no. I, 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 I can't see it. You're all right, man. There's no mist. Stop. Stop lying. You can all see it in me, can't you? You're all just lying. The mist is inside. Hey, man, come on, just put the... Oh, fucking shit. Wait by the radio. Why? I'm gonna check the next level. There might be some more gear down there we can use. Uh... I'm not going far. Just wait by the radio. I'm gonna hang back here as well. the radio. We need someone to keep listening. Aye, aye, Cap. I saw the, the, the big guy. He had the distributor cap. You gotta go after him. This must have been what we just heard. Oh no, what's that? Doesn't matter. We need that distributor cap. Here! He had to have come this way. Thank <laughs> you. 
gonna make this jump, Alex. I'll have to find another way around. It's okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fliss. Gotcha. All right, let's try it. that took her boat. 
that there was gold. He wanted the gold. That's all this was about. Manchurian gold. Well, that turned out to be quite a bit different than we expected. You know, I just keep going over it and over it. And it doesn't make any sense. Just... And I know what I saw. I just... Don't believe in... Whatever it was that I saw. I saw Alex. It wasn't Alex. It was... Someone else. But they looked just like Alex. And he was sneering at me. Fucking rich kids. So, um, does anybody else feel like knocking back Frosty? This guy. Yeah. So, um, found this. Congratulations. All your charges are still breathing, and that's something, I suppose. Things became a little intense, but Alex kept his nerve. Well done, Alex. Well done, you. It's all about decisions, isn't it? Decisions made in a hurry, in a panic, made with the heart instead of the head, or vice versa. Sometimes those decisions take a long time to have repercussions. But there are repercussions. There are always repercussions. Till we meet again. Maybe in Little Hope, maybe somewhere else. But be certain, we will meet again. It's inevitable. thing just sent out an SOS. Guess we got a real life ghost ship here. Whoa. What the hell is this? <laughs> <laughs> 